Now let's look into the details of how you actually go about performing a bootstrap simulation for a proportion in order to find your confidence intervals. And to do this, we're going to use StatKey. From the website, if you scroll down near the bottom here and you click on the link to StatKey, it's going to pop open a new window. And you can either do that or go directly to the link lock5stat.com slash StatKey uh, or bookmark this page for later. Now, it gives you a bunch of different options of all kinds of little uh, tools that you can use from their website. The one that we're going to look at uh, right now is in the bootstrap confidence intervals in the middle and specifically what we're talking about is either single proportions or single means. So we're going to start out with a single proportion. Remember proportions refer to categorical data. And the first thing you're going to do is click on that edit data box where you can type in how many successes or how many uh, things that you found that agreed with you out of the total. So in our case with the puppy and the kitty before, we had 24 votes for the puppy out of 40 people in the sample. So you would type that in there. And then uh, you can generate your samples right away. If you want to see them one at a time, sometimes that can be useful for trying to understand what you're doing. You can click that. If you want to get straight to the chase, go ahead and generate a thousand or a couple thousand. After a few thousand, it's going to be plenty sufficient for getting you a good confidence interval. At this point you want to figure out where uh, your interval starts and where your interval ends. To do that you're going to want to click on this two tail button here. And what that does is it pops up this. If you want to change how confident you are uh, you can click in the middle and instead of being 95% confident you could be for example 99 and to do that I would type in 0.99 because it's looking for a proportion between 0 and 1 so 0 0.99 would be 90% and you can see that my interval got a little wider. If you're trying to find the 99% confidence if you're trying to be really really confident even more confident you're gonna have to have a bigger interval that would make sense and if you don't want to be very confident at all, let's say I want to do a 50% confidence interval, then it's going to be a very, very small interval. It's between 55 and 65% of the population. Now, you're always trying to strike that balance of being both confident and having something meaningful to say, uh, a small interval. 50% confidence, no one's going to listen to you. When you start to get up to 90 all of a sudden, that's something people can trust. Nine out of ten times, okay, that's something I would feel confident in. So usually you're looking 90% or above for most confidence intervals, and 95 tends to be the, the gold standard, the typical that you'll see. But just by clicking on this value, you can change it. The other thing is you can set the range, the cutoff on the low end, and it will automatically adjust the confidence. So let's say you want your low end cutoff to be 50%, uh, 0.5. And if you do that, it tells you that you would be 73.8% or 0.738 uh, confident that it really falls in this range right here between 0.5 and 0.675 of the population, that proportion of the population.